Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of my favorite types of videos to do for you guys. This is a mini haul and first impression. So I have five perfumes here to share with you and they were all blind buys. All of them were really hyped up and I've been wanting to try them for a really long time and I'm happy to say that all of them except for one or two turned out to be pretty good. So I'm really excited to share them with you and I hope that you guys enjoy. And this particular video is also sponsored by perfumeonline.ca. And they have given me a discount code for you guys. So using the code FRIDAY, you can save 12% off of your order, as well as free shipping over $59. So if you guys are new to perfumeonline.ca, I get questions all the time about which websites are legitimate and which ones are trustworthy to buy perfumes. These guys are 100% legit, and I have been using them for a long, long time. They're one of my favorite discount fragrance companies. They are based in Canada, but they also ship to the United States. And I often find that if I can't find a fragrance on another website they're a really good website to check out because sometimes I'll find a hidden gem or that perfume I've just been looking for forever and it'll be hidden on one of the pages on perfumeonline.ca so I definitely recommend checking them out this weekend and all of the details will be listed in the description box below for you guys and without further ado let's get started hi guys so welcome back to my channel again um, as you can see I'm just sipping on a lovely cup of tea this is um, just a really cheap Walmart tea, but this is lavender and chamomile tea. That's literally all that's in here. And this just really helps me relax. For some reason, I'm like quite shaky tonight. I think I've had too much coffee and I think I've watched too much news. I also wanted to share with you guys on a happier note, my adorable candle. I got this from Winners a couple of weeks ago when I was actually going to the city. I'm not gonna be going there anymore because it's just too high of a risk with COVID. Um, but this is the cutest little candle I've ever seen. It has this little faux wreath on the top and it smells like vanilla cookies and or cupcakes and I just absolutely love it. Even the lid is just as pretty as the smell of the candle. And I also like that it is a wood wick candle, so it sizzles as it burns and it just creates such a mood and such a vibe and I just absolutely love it. So as you guys know from this intro, um, today's video, I have a few perfumes that I purchased blindly. One of them was actually gifted to me from perfumeonline.ca and that was the Shiseido Zen. They asked me which one I would like and this was the one that I chose um, based on the recommendations of many, many of my viewers and I've also seen it bouncing around on a few YouTubers channels. I'm not sure exactly which ones, so I do apologize. I don't think it's super, super popular though. I don't hear a ton of people talking about Shiseido Zen, but anyways, I really wanted to try that one. And the other four ones I did purchase with my own money. So we have Kenzo, uh, Kenzo, world intense i believe it's kenzo world intense yes intense eau de parfum and i got this one because i really like a lot of the kenzo perfumes especially kenzo world power and so i thought there would be a good chance i'd like this one and i also got jean paul gaultier classic essence and i also got the armoth club de nuit perfume eau de parfum it's an extremely heavy bottle and then I also got Jimmy Choo Illicit, which I've also heard a few people talk about. Again, it's not a really popular one. Um, but what I'll tell you before we get into it is that out of these five perfumes, two of them were winners, two of them were just okay, and one of them is a complete and utter fail, complete absolute fail. <laughs> so if you guys want to take some time, some time and comment down below which ones you think I'm going to think are winners, which ones you think are okay and which one was the loser of this batch and by the way I call it a loser very loosely if you have the perfume that I will be telling you I don't love please don't take offense because one woman's perfume trash is another woman's perfume treasure <laughs> you guys can you hear my candle crackling can you hear it I don't want to catch my microphone on fire okay you guys so why don't we start off with one that is just okay and that one, let's start off with the Armoff Club de Nuit. This is supposed to be, or not supposed to be, but this is widely regarded as some sort of a dupe for um, Coco Mademoiselle. And I would say that this one is not quite a dupe. This one is a very um, fresh, citrusy, clean scent. I will put the notes on the screen for you. I'm just gonna kind of tell you 
the vibe and the gist of it because I don't have the notes all memorized. But I believe this has orange in it, this has rose, this does have a little bit of vanilla, this has patchouli. Um, so the note profile is actually quite similar to the Coco Mademoiselle. This is lacking the tonka bean that is in the Coco Mademoiselle. Um, first I'll show you kind of a close-up of the bottle. It has, it's actually a really pretty bottle. It's a really classy looking bottle. So my first impression of this, first of all, the reason I wanted to try it is because so many people said it was similar to Coco Mademoiselle and I love Coco Mademoiselle. When I first spray this, it does have quite a strong alcoholic vibe, which a lot of the Armoff fragrances do, I've noticed. This is my third Armoff fragrance and I've noticed that they all kind of open with this really strong kind of an alcoholic smell that fades it takes a while to fade away so i just sprayed the club de nuit here on the paper and yeah it's a very it's a very fresh like patchouli scent and it does have similar vibes to coco mademoiselle but this one is a little bit sharper it's a little bit more um piercing it's a little bit less smooth it's a little bit less refined and overall it doesn't smell super super similar to coco mademoiselle i would say it's along the same lines it's along the same vein for sure it's a fresh clean um, soapy orange patchouli scent, which Coco Mademoiselle is, but Coco Mademoiselle is a little bit sweeter, a little bit more refined, and less sharp and less piercing. This one, in general, also, I would say is a lot more masculine than Coco Mademoiselle. I think this one is totally unisex, and from what I've seen on Fragrantica, other people think so too. So I think a man could totally wear this. I mean, in this day and age, anybody can wear anything they want, so I don't ever mean to be like um, gender exclusive when I talk about perfumes, but this one definitely does have a little bit of a masculine vibe for me and it has great performance. This one really filled the room. Like I could smell it when I left, I could smell it when I came back. It's almost verging on being headache inducing. So my take on the Club de Nuit is that it is a, it's kind of nice. I don't love it. It's not my favorite. I don't think I'll be keeping this in my collection. It's a fresh, clean, soapy, um, somewhat similar to Coco Mademoiselle, but a little bit sharp and less refined and less sweet and leans a little bit more masculine, but has great performance. So that is my take on the Club de Nuit. It also is extremely affordable. If you're interested in a bottle of that, I think it's like 30 or 40 Canadian dollars. So it's extremely, extremely affordable. It just isn't my favorite scent. And if I if I have this one and I have Coco, I'm gonna choose Coco Mademoiselle every single time. So it's probably not one that I'm gonna keep in my collection. Okay, so next let's talk about the next one that is just okay for me verging on being really good but still just sort of okay and that is the Jean-Paul Gaultier classic essence I will put the notes on the screen for you guys this is a bit of a um, a warm spicy kind of a citrusy opening and then it has this bit of an orange sickle cream sickle kind of vibe and it dries down to a whipped cream vanilla cashmere woody scent so that makes it sound like absolute heaven but um, when I saw this online, this had two thumbs up. Everybody was talking about it and saying it was so good and it got such good reviews. And a lot of people actually compared this to um, Alien Essence Absolute, which by the way, when I first sprayed this, I actually got Alien Essence Absolute vibes. This one has notes of ginger and orange in the opening and it does have a very kind of a warm, spicy, orangey opening. It's quite strong um, and that kind of sticks around for quite a while, but once it dries down, it does become this creamy kind of really nice sweet whipped cream cashmere somewhat powdery kind of a vibe so it does smell very similar to the original Jean Paul Gaultier classic which by the way I can't do the original one I find to be too heavy too power um, too powdery I just can't do that one this one is a little bit more orangey and a little bit more sweet and whipped cream and vanillic compared to the original I do think it's quite a sensual seductive sweet cozy scent but I don't think I don't know if this one's going to be in my collection forever but I do have to try wearing it for like an evening and see how it goes I'm not ready to cast it out yet but it does overall smell really nice there's just something about it that just doesn't quite sit well with my nose and it could be that ginger and that orange I'm not really sure there's something about it that just kind of bothers my nose it's not bad and like I say I do have to give it a chance and actually wear it for a night and see how I feel so this one is just okay I think a lot of people really love this one okay now let's switch tones a little bit and talk about one that I actually really really like um, so let's talk about Shiseido Zen 
And this one, you guys, first of all, look at the bottle. It's incredible. It's this big yellow and gold brick, basically, this big cube, I should say. Um, I really like it. A lot of people have recommended this one to me, a lot of subscribers, and I've also seen it pop up in some people's videos. Um, a lot of people have said this is like a lifer. A lot of people have also likened this to Coco Mademoiselle as well. And the name for this perfume is absolutely perfect, absolutely fitting, because this is an incredibly zen, peaceful, relaxing, calm, light, airy scent. Um, I don't think it smells like Coco Mademoiselle in the slightest. It's along the same line because both of them are like soapy, clean scents. Coco Mademoiselle is a lot more patchouli and a lot more um, tonka bean and a lot more orange. This one is quite a lot lighter. I'm pretty sure there's musk in this though. I think there might be um, like some green notes or something maybe some citrus notes, I will put them on the screen for you. But what I get from this basically is like a clean, fresh out of the shower, clean woman. Very sophisticated, very elegant. I also get like career woman. I get the vibe that you would get if this was your boss. Like, I feel like I've smelt this before on a very accomplished or very successful or very wealthy woman. Um, I feel like I've smelt it maybe in an elevator, in a shopping mall, or at a high-end department store, or in like a corporate office. Like, I feel like I've smelt this somewhere like that before. It's just very clean and very pleasant and very soft and musky. And honestly, I just really, really like the smell of this. It's also unique in the fact that I have nothing else like this in my collection. I have really, like the closest thing I could come up with that gives me similar kind of vibes would be Chloe Absolute Parfum, kind of, because it has that like soapy, clean vibe. But this is just different, you guys. Like this one for me is totally, like the name says, it's just like zen. It's just like calm, clean, fresh, um, sophisticated, everyday, anywhere. Um, I feel like you could wear this to work, you could wear this to bed, you could throw this on just getting out of the shower. Totally inoffensive. Nobody would say two words about it except that they would think you smell just really, just clean and polished, basically. It has a very calming vibe. Like, if I was gonna meditate in a perfume, I would meditate in this perfume. As for the longevity, I'll have to come back to you guys and talk to you about that. I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely a lot softer than the Club de Nuit. Um, if you're going to compare these two because they're both clean, fresh scents, this one's completely different. Like, they're completely different. This one is so much more smooth and just more buttery on your on your nose. Like, you can tell that this one's a little bit higher end. So yeah, I really, really, really like Shiseido Zen and I do recommend that one for sure. So now let's juice it up a little bit and talk about the one that I don't like in the slightest. This was a complete blind buy fail <laughs> and that would be um, surprisingly my Kenzo World Intense. I honestly thought I was going to love this one you guys. This was supposed to be similar to Marc Jacobs Decadence. Um, some people said it was similar to Gucci Rush. It has um, it has plum in the opening, so it has a very sweet, fruity plum note in there, but you guys, when I spray this, I get like a really, I don't know, there's something in here that does not smell good. Something about it just really burns my nostrils. It is not good for me. First spray on the paper, I wasn't even going to try putting it on my skin because I was that repulsed by the smell, and usually I do like to give perfumes a chance and try them on my skin. This was just absolutely not happening. So I don't know, I do see why people get Gucci Rush from this. I do see where people can kind of make that connection, but I really like Gucci Rush. There's something about this one that just doesn't sit well with me, and um, yeah, it's not really surprising either because I don't ever hear people talk about this one, so this one was a complete blind by fail, and I will definitely be um, selling it or giving it if somebody will take it. <laughs> so that is Kenzo um, World Intense which by the way is a stark contrast from Kenzo World Power, which I absolutely love. So, so you guys, that leaves one left, and this one was another one that I absolutely really, really, really liked, if not loved, and that was the Jimmy Choo Illicit. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I used to have the original Jimmy Choo, and I still really like that one, and I kind of sometimes wish I wouldn't have sold it. Back in the day when I was in a real hardcore decluttering mood and I wanted to really like narrow down my perfume collection, I actually got rid of the Jimmy Choo and I'm kicking myself because it was so good 
and I might still bring it back into my collection. I've been thinking about it. Um, but Jimmy Choo is very classy and this bottle just looks super classy in and of itself. This one was a very random blind purchase because I don't hear a lot of people talk about this one and I wasn't even sure about it when I looked at the notes because there was honey in the notes and if you guys know there's one very very famous very popular perfume with a lot of honey whose name will go unmentioned that I cannot wear no matter how hard I try I cannot wear it and so I was a little skeptical and I thought if this is anything like that one it's not gonna fly you guys I am so pleasantly I can't figure out how to hold this stupid thing I am so pleasantly surprised by this perfume to me this is classy and sophisticated and sweet and basically this is okay so I'll tell you what it smells like this is a sweet honey floral very sophisticated and to me if you took Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal and you toned down the honey just a little bit and you amplified the classiness this is what you get I love this this was love at first sniff on the paper love in the in the cap at the atomizer I don't think that this is a new release I'm pretty sure this has been out for a while because I've heard people talk about wearing this when they were a lot younger so I think this has been around for like a few years anyways but it's absolutely gorgeous you guys and look at the bottle it just says classy it just looks classy this is honey done in a very tasteful sophisticated mature way not mature like old perfume or like quote old lady type of perfume this is like the hmm can I even say that I was gonna say this is like the Mon Guerlain version of Scandal like elegant version of Scandal is what I get from it and um, yeah, I'm just gonna take the cap off here and smell it again, you guys. Mm. It's so pleasant and it's so bright and I could see this would be appropriate for like a date night, um, going out in the evening. I don't think this would be like a young girl clubbing perfume. It's not that kind of perfume. Definitely, um, you know, dressed up and evening and going out. And it's also um, quite unique. I don't have, it's unique for me. I don't have anything else quite like it in my collection. Um, I don't have a lot of honey perfumes because honey and I are not great friends. We don't always get along. Sometimes I can find it very headache inducing. But like I say, this is honey done right. And I just love the bottle. This is so pretty. I can't wait to wear this for a night with my partner, like a date night supper. This is really good. This is my favorite one out of my little haul today with my very close second being Shiseido Zen. And I'm pretty sure like the Jean-Paul Gaultier might not be sticking around for me. I'm going to try wearing it and see. Um, the Armoff is definitely going to be gifted or sold. And this one is definitely going to be gifted or sold as well. So out of the five perfumes, I think two and a half is pretty good. That is the issue with blind purchasing perfumes is that it is a little bit of a gamble. I always say that I'm not a gambler, but um, blind buying perfumes is totally gambling because you spend money and you don't know if you're going to win. <laughs> that is just how it is. So that's it for tonight, you guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a ton of luck doing your Black Friday shopping. Don't forget to head on down and check out the discount code that I have in the description box for you if you're looking for extra deals. And do head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, where I share a lot of little tidbits of my life that you won't see on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.